Hello everyone, back to you in today's first video, looking at the ECMWF 30 day look ahead uh, model for today's first video, so it's going to take us through into the early part of June. Uh, right, looking at the uh, temperature and uh, precipitation anomalies from the ECMWF 30 day model uh, for uh, the next four weeks. Uh, at the Hungarian Met Office uh, for this, a big thank you to them for uh, giving us the charts, and uh, just say that we can't see mean sea level pressure or 500 millibar heights with this, but you can get a rough idea from the temperature and precipitation anomalies about what the model is uh, forecasting in terms of a broad pressure pattern. So that's what we're going to do for today's first video. Coming up later on this afternoon, we'll have your week's 10 day video update for all of the usual features. And then tonight, we've got our second update for the late spring bank holiday weekend. So we're going to start off uh, with week one, temperature anomalies for the UK and for Europe as well. It's week 20 uh, for the year, but it's week one for our forecast period. It's taking us from the 13th through to the 19th of May. So uh, the coming week looks cold and average actually across many parts of Europe, much of uh, Central uh, Europe and down into the Central Mediterranean. Looking uh, below average with temperature anomalies. Coolest weather looks to be around Italy and then over the Adriatic into the Balkans. Those areas were around three to six degrees uh, below average. But more widely, France, Germany, for example, coming out around um, one to three degrees below average. In the far northwest of Europe, it's um, warmer seen, so uh, across Scotland, Northern England, Northern Ireland, and the Republic of Ireland, and also much of Scandinavia, uh, we're talking about temperature anomalies there being above average, generally by around one to three degrees, but one or two places, Scotland, uh, some parts of Norway, uh, three to six degrees above average. Eastern Europe is looking warmer than average too, and down into the far southeast, and then Spain and Portugal, well, it's close to average, uh, really, but uh, the central parts of Spain look a little bit warmer than average uh, there. As far as precipitation anomalies are concerned for the week ahead, uh, above average precipitation in the south and the southeast of Europe, so much of the central eastern part of the Mediterranean, I mean, down towards Greece, uh, substantially above average precipitation in the week ahead, could be some quite heavy thunderstorms. Uh, this week, and then they stretch up through the Balkans and into this eastern side of uh, Europe. Out in the west, it looks a lot drier, so much of northern uh, Europe, uh, Scandinavia, generally drier than average, east central and western parts of Europe, also looking drier than average, UK and Ireland, substantially drier than average as well. So high pressure going to be dominating weather in the north and the west of Europe, more in way of low pressure down in the southeast. As far as the Mediterranean is concerned, a bit of an east-west split. Many of those western parts of the Med looking rather drier, but from around Corsica, Sardinia, eastwards, then it does get a lot wetter, I say, particularly around Italy I and mean, then down into Greece. Moving on to week two, which is tw week 21 for uh, for the year, for 2019, but it's week two for our forecast period. Well, it still looks uh, warmer than average, more than average in this far northwestern part of uh, Europe. So again, much of Scandinavia, northern Germany, Belgium, Holland, northern France, Ireland and the UK coming out with above average temperature anomalies, one to three degrees above average. Yeah, also becoming much warmer in this southeastern corner, in fact, becoming very hot by looking at it around Greece and Turkey, 6 to 10 degrees above average, which uh, at the end of May, that's going to be very, very warm indeed down in that southeastern part of the Mediterranean. Conversely, much of the central and western part of the Med actually looks rather uh, below average, rather cooler than average from Italy over to Spain and Portugal, including all of the holiday islands like Corsica, Sardinia, uh, Malta, and then the Balearic Islands of Mallorca, Minorca, Ibiza, all of those areas looking uh, rather cool. Looks quite cold up across uh, western parts of Russia as well. In between, the temperature anomaly is largely above average. Uh, to It's average to uh, largely slightly above average. You see what I mean? Through that central part of, uh, of the continent. Precipitation-wise, it remains drier out to the northwest. So uh, next couple of weeks dominated by high pressure by the look of it. The ECMDF is right in that northwestern corner. So again, Ireland, UK, Scandinavia, generally above average uh, in those areas. Elsewhere, where we've got drier and average conditions where it's hottest in that southeastern 
corner of the Mediterranean around Greece and Turkey. But in between, looking rather unsettled, actually, above average precipitation on is in this sway from kind of like eastern uh, Spain through the Mediterranean, I mean, going through central and eastern parts of Europe up towards Ukraine and uh, the border with uh, with uh, Russia looking a little bit above average precipitation in all of those regions. So there could be some heavy showers, maybe thunderstorms through those central parts of uh, of uh, Europe with drier conditions on either side. Moving on to uh, week three, week 22 for the year. Well, now the temperature anomaly is weakening, as it often does, uh, with these charts, but signs of a change for Northern Europe is going uh, below average now with the temperature anomaly across Scandinavia over towards the Baltic and uh, Denmark, a little bit cooler than average there as well. For Ireland and the UK, we're losing those above average temperature anomalies for this week from the 27th of May to the 2nd of June. We're losing those above average temperature anomalies. We're returning to average. So it looks like it's cooling a little bit in the north and the northwest of Europe. Many central areas are again coming out with average uh, temperature anomalies. Down in the Med, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Spain and Portugal, warmer than average for central basin of the Med, still hinting at perhaps being a little on the cool side and then into the southeastern corner again looking very warm around Greece and up towards Turkey uh, as well. Precipitation anomalies also showing hints of a change, I think. It looks as though, although it's a weak signal, it looks as though it's going a little bit wetter than average across northern Europe uh, now. So this implies that the ridge that dominates uh, weeks one and two and brings a lot of dry uh, and warm weather to the far north and northwest of Europe, it looks as though in week three, taking us from kind of like the very end of May to the beginning of June. It looks like that ridge breaks down and we return towards more unsettled conditions with low pressure. So going a little bit above average with precipitation from Ireland of the UK up towards Scandinavia and the Baltic, uh, the Baltic Sea kind of area. Uh, Southern Europe looks like, uh, looks like going a bit drier though. So down in the Med, it looks like, it's very, although again, it's quite a weak signal. It looks as though, uh, again, much of Mediterranean is going a little bit drier than average uh, through this week. So quite a quite a big pattern change taking place there from what we see in weeks one and two to what we see in week three. Quite a flip with Northern Europe going much more unsettled, Southern Europe going a lot drier. In between, by the way, just looking close to average, really, for these countries from France over towards Ukraine, and that sort of sway, it looks quite close to uh, average. And then finally, we go through to week uh, four, if we can get that up. Let's see if we can flip over. Yes, it does. Uh, so it's week 23 for uh, 2019, week four for our forecast period. It takes us from the 3rd through to the 9th of June. And uh, it looks as though much of Eastern Europe now is warmer than average. So it's warming up in the eastern part of uh, Europe and across uh, sort of Spain and into southern parts of France. It's a little bit warmer than average there. Out to the northwest is closer to average once again. So one of the balancing acts that you tend to get with the weather is that if it's warm and hot in the east of Europe, it'll often be cooler in the, in the west and the northwest of Europe. So you'll tend to get some sort of a ridge sitting there and pulling up hot air out of North Africa into the east, southeast of Europe. Conversely, you'll tend to get a trough of low pressure around here, and that will often be pulling down quite cool air uh, in that sort of direction. That's a little bit wrong with the low pressure. But you get the idea. I mean, in the northwest, it'll be cooler. In the southeast, it'll be uh, warmer very often. So in the northwest, we see average temperature anomalies through much of Scandinavia, UK, Ireland, Germany, much of northern France, uh, Belgium, Holland, into low countries. Um, so uh, it looks... Uh, Average with temperature anomalies there, whilst the east and the southeast of Europe looks warmer. Mediterranean-wise, so it's warm in the southeastern corner, it's warm in the far west. In between, through the central parts of the Med, it's close to average once more. And finally, precipitation for week four, uh, third through to the, uh, uh, to the 9th of June. So again, very weak signals, central parts of the Med um, looking a little bit drier than average. Out to the northwest, possibly a little bit above average with precipitation. 
days from the game. We're talking about really, really weak signals here. Uh, so, um, can't really glean much information uh, from that. So, it's a bit of a mixed bag. It looks as though we start off with a lot of dry weather and pretty warm too in the north and the west of Europe. We probably turn things a bit cooler and more unsettled in week spring and fall in the northwest. At the same time, the south and the southeast of Europe and the east probably turning drier and uh, warmer there as we're going into the beginning of June. And we'll do the road again uh, next week. Of course, these charts are highly experimental. They are prone to chopping and changing and to unreliability. So don't necessarily take uh, what you see there too seriously. I say we'll do it all over again um, next week. Right. We'll be out later on this afternoon with your week to 10 day video update. I mean, tonight we're having our second uh, update for the late spring bank holiday weekend. But that's all for now. And thanks for watching.